Hello. Um, this video lesson is for grade four. We are going to study about expressive cell portraits. Okay. So mainly, uh, we are going to you know prepare pencil eraser and an A4 size of you know paper is good enough. And if you can't, uh, please prepare you know the uh, color markers and also the uh, oil pastels. If you are allergic to using oil pastel, and uh, you can actually use in you know, a color pencil, but you know I rather use in you know, a color markers most likely then. Okay, uh, these are the you know less, uh, those are the materials that, you know you have to prepare. However, uh, for the you know first sections, you can still you know work on the uh, pencil drawing in your sketchbook. Okay, uh, next week. Because this is a uh, two sessions, okay. So one session, which is uh, today, uh, I'm going to actually explain how to actually draw uh, the right proportion, the correct inner you know, proportion, drawing in our face in a paper, okay, through my inner you know, PowerPoint slides, and then you know you are going to actually practice by looking at the uh, piece of the uh, the PDF file, which I'm going to you know, show it to you. And then you know uh you need to actually just you know work on your you know sketchbook. Then in you know, a next week, okay, based based on your you know pencil drawing, I'm gonna maybe uh, just uh, quick uh quickly maybe you know, go over. Then in you know, uh we are going to use the uh color, okay. So just be uh ready for the you know colorful in you know, uh creating a self portrait for the you know next following week, okay. All right. So, um here. Okay, uh, I actually you know, posted like you know three pictures in. Okay, each actually you know, self portrait has a very unique, right, very different ways to you know present the portraits in you know, uh, themselves. Okay, when you see on the you know, left, when you see in the center, right, when you see on the right, right, each you know portrait has a very different look and different emotions, right, and different eye engaging. Okay, so those are the things you know uh, we are maybe in you know, a study in the future, but you know this is a type of you know portrait that you know uh, people actually even artists you know uh, looking at all the time. Okay, make sure that you know each one has a different, unique, and a very interesting way of you know uh, creating your portraits. Okay, uh, but you know uh, I'm gonna show you how basic sort of a uh, correct proportions. When you actually start working on the uh, cell portrait, then okay. All right. So basically, uh, here is actually several questions under the essential questions. Okay. What is a cell portrait? Have you ever ever drawn the you know, yourself, right, in a paper? Then, then regarding our IB learning profiles list, right? Uh, what do you think of you know connecting with this in lesson then? Okay. Uh, so the first question is defi uh, uh, definitions of a cell portrait, right? So what is a cell portrait, guys? Definitely you know, a drawing ourselves, right? But just in a drawing, um, I bet that you, know, uh, you can actually you know, put yourself in it. So in other words, you, know, you are going to you know, put your characteristic in, right? So character is one of the uh, things that you, know, you need to present yourself when you actually draw in your self portrait, right? Then you know, have you ever drawn yourself? Then, right? Is there any action, a uh, right, you know, a uh, placement of the you know, nose and lips and eyes, and ears? Okay, uh, those are the things you know we are going to actually you know, practice today too. Okay, um, the last questions, the IB learning profiles. Okay. Which items that do you think is the most in you know, a connecting with this lesson then? I bet the you know, maybe a uh, inquiry, right? Because you have to you know, question yourself who you are, right? What you are. Then maybe a second of all, um, you are going to be uh, more knowledgeable by doing this and uh, learning this in you know, a facial uh, a future by using the uh, proportion scale then, right? Then another things you know maybe you can find yourself in a balance, right? Because by creating a portrait, you need to learn how to actually uh, be a little more symmetrical images and putting in your drawing there, so it gives you a balance, right? 
So those are the things you know you are going to be aware of. Okay, I'm doing this one then. All right. So uh, the objectives. Okay. Uh, today, you know, you are going to actually you know see the uh, the video screen that the portrait that you know which I actually you know, posted in. You are going to see a step by step. Okay, and using a correct proportions. This is a very very important thing as you learned uh, uh, under the in a grade four, even a grade five or six level. It's very very important things. Okay, so please you know remember and. Uh, this is just a video lesson, but it's very, very uh, beneficial. Uh, you should keep this action you know, just in a video lessons when you go up to even a middle school level too, okay? Because this lesson is, you know, you are going to be required to get this sort of information when you go up in higher uh, level of you know, uh, education then, okay? So, uh, before beginning to draw a portrait, right? Uh, remember the uh, subject must you know when you look at very carefully okay either the uh, face is you know correctly in a uh, placed end so symmetrical image and a balance okay and uh, look at very you know close you know your pictures it, I mean if you are going to you know, draw yourself you have to take a look at picture in a mirror then okay uh, sometimes in a uh, Looking at a mirror and, uh, and paying attention to your face, it's very important thing when you actually work on your self portrait. Then, okay. Uh, today, I'm just gonna give you just you know general guidelines of you know creating a portrait. Okay, so you need to practice in your sketchbook. All right, and after that, you know um, when you guys when we you know get back to all you know together, right? Then I'm gonna actually you know, check your sketchbook, and uh, I'm gonna actually you know, uh, based on you know, uh, the report card and a grading on this one. Then, okay, all right. All right. The first picture that you see, uh, which is done by you know Joseph Chester, okay. Um, he made this, you know, uh, it's called the you know, uh, portrait of a James Bentley. All right. Uh, as you see this one, uh, the guys is a little bit kind of um, uh, Mr. Einstein's, you know, hairstyles, you know, uh, silver hairs, and definitely, you know, you can see the, you know, his age, maybe pretty much, you know, over 60 or 70s around, right? And it's very interesting, you know, he's kind of a bit little happy smile, you know, uh, he showed his little, you know, greens in his face. And also the uh, ties on a neck, right? It's a little bit in uh, coming out of it, then, right? So it's very interesting a uh, look to see it in terms of you know self portrait, okay? And another thing that I like to you know, mention about the inner background, definitely uh, he's been actually maybe standing outside, right? But you see the background out there, right? Uh, maybe it's kind of you know outdoor, like in you know, a seashore or something like that, right? And kind of in you know, a nice in you know, a hazy in you know, a sky also you can definitely you know, check it out then okay all right next picture uh, it's done by an uh, Evan Walters okay it's the uh, name of you know David Lloyd in you know, a George uh, definitely you, know, you can see uh, compared in you know, uh, the one that we saw right uh, the paint is definitely uh, different then right it's very uh, the one that you know, we saw is very nice and smooth well, whereas, you know, this picture has a lot of, you know, paintery and uh, paint brush stroke. You can definitely you know, see it. A lot of, you know, highlights and a shadow. Uh, take a look at the, you know, background. It's completely in you know, black right now, right? So that, you know, uh, probably, you know, the artist wants more focus on the, you know, a portrait, the person, rather than actually showing a little more, you know, than that, the, uh, the image in the background there, okay? Next one is done by you know, Edward in you know, a pointer, right? Uh, you see a kind of a nice and uh, very you know, smooth in you know, a skin tone. It's literally just like in you know, a real face, right? And also the uh, the uh, engaging in eyes, just like in you know, a uh, she's uh, looking at you, right? And definitely you, know, you can see a lot of in you know, a decorative in you know, uh, the neck areas, right? And we can tell the you know, this is kind of ancient. Not such an ancient time, but it's very in you know, a classical period of times. So, you know we can 
uh, this one has been uh, done with them. Okay. All right. This one, you know, might be interesting. This is done by, you know, Dorian and Robert Jones. Okay. Definitely, uh, this is one that, you know, we saw it, right? Uh, the rest of actually, you know, the pictures that we have seen, it's more like, you know, either classic or either modern contemporary styles. Whether this one has a very, very, you know, uh, a simple layout, but then we start seeing the, uh, the figure, bodies, right? The movement. He's grabbing the uh, uh, the rugby ball, I guess, and and, and he's instructing you know, playing uh, a game or something. And take a look at the you know, uh, background. It's a bit little kind of you know uh, uh, no colors on the face, but we can definitely you know, tell that you know this is in uh, stadiums or something, right? Yeah. So uh, this is another type of you know portraits, okay? That I'd like to you know, share with you guys. But uh, take a look at the uh, the symmetrical you know images of you know face, the eyes, uh, the nose, and then the lips locations, right? The placement in, and then the uh, the ears, right? It has been actually you know, placed in uh, perfectly in you know, a match to it. Then, okay. The next one is in you know, a Keith and Williams, uh, the Priscilla Deans. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this painting. Uh, I guess, you know, uh, someone who actually you know, uh, put on the you know, military outfits, right? Maybe, you know, he's been uh, ready to, you know, uh, go out the, in a battlefield or something, right? He's been, uh, look at his eyes, you know, very serious. The way he, you know, uh, expressing you know, his lips, the eye engaging it, right? He is definitely you know, looking at us, but, you know, he's very serious, right? Yes. Not in you know, such you know maybe in happy mood, happy mood. So definitely, you know, uh, we are going to actually draw just you know basic you know proportions of you know facial uh, facial feature. But uh, we've been seeing the uh, the each picture has a very interesting emotion, right? And very different expressive uh, portraits that you know we can maybe uh, take a look at, right? So now it's turn your uh, practice. Okay. Uh, you may need to be uh, ready for you know uh, grabbing the uh, pencil and erasers. Okay. Uh, you don't need a ruler for doing this one then. Okay. But often cases that you may use the, the hands for you know your uh, measurement guide. Okay. All right. So the first step. Okay. Uh, open up your, your sketchbook. You need to draw the uh, the oval shape, like in an egg shape. Then so draw an egg shape. Okay, all right. But remember, your face are not such an egg shape, right? Each one has a very you know, interesting you know, shape of a face, right? But let's just start with the you know, basic guidelines, okay? So uh, this time, you may need to actually you know, uh, uh, draw a little light pencil sketch. Please make sure you know draw the uh, light pencil sketch. The next one. Uh, once you finish, and you need to draw the uh, center line vertically, okay? That will actually you know, give you the uh, line of the inner nose and mouth and uh, lips, okay? Which gives you a symmetrical image. Next, you need to draw the uh, horizontal lines halfway down the egg, okay? So basically, you, know, you have to draw the uh, draw the end half once you finish you know, drawing the you know, one big egg in it, right? That will actually uh, see where the eyes and top of the you know, ears will go to, okay? The next one. Once you finish the uh, draw the half of the inner you know, lines, right? The vertical and horizontal lines. Then you need to draw another inner you know, half of a line below it, okay? The second horizontal line, you see it then, right? That's the uh, where the uh, the bottom of the you know, nose and ears that will go. Then uh, you have to divide another inner you know, third of the inner you know, the way down, okay? The nose draw the third horizontal lines, okay? This is where the you know, mouth lines should be going in, okay? So the first line is gonna be eyes, okay? Second line, horizontal line, it's gonna be the bottom of the nose, the nostrils, okay? The third line, from the bottom of the egg, right? 
that's gonna be the uh, the mouth lines okay please remember this is a very important stage then after that you know you are going to you know, start drawing the eyes with the corner on the you know, lines make sure that when you uh, start drawing the eyes you may have to actually you know, have the you know, correct size in order to actually fit in five equal eye width across the head do you understand so you see the kind of a dotted line that I have you know over there those are the inner you know, uh, fifth okay at uh, the equal inner you know, eye width the of the lines that you, you need to you know, place it in okay it's a very important thing that when you do this one then the next one you need to actually draw the inner you know, bottom of the nose okay um, start drawing the, you know, little bit kind of parentheses, you know, for the both sides and then start drawing inside the uh, nostril, okay? Because that's the uh, bottom of the, you know, at the nose line. And then slightly just a little bit, you know, line up here, okay? So, uh, nostrils should rest on the, you know, the lines. The next one, draw in the inner mouth with the line dividing the two lips, okay? So basically, you, know, you finish eyes and nose, right? Then now it's time to the inner mouth, okay? When you actually start drawing the inner mouth, uh, by measuring one third in front of the inner corner of the eyes, you see the uh, the corner of the eyes, right? Then you need to draw the uh, line vertically, the dash lines, go all the way down to, and that's the the tip of the inner mouth lines, okay? So th this is how you know you can achieve it in creating the accurate uh, the mouth width of it then okay so this is another important things of 